my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the middle of the month love readings this is going to be for aquarius sun moon rising and venus let's get right into your reading let's see what spirit has to say in regards to love and romance aquarius for this month or remaining of this month okay we have the five of swords temperance the world card king of cups who are you falling for aquarius all right, you have the Hermit, the Knight of Wands, the Five of Wands, the Death card, the Six of Cups, and the Eight of Swords, the Empress at the bottom of the deck. All right. All right, Aquarius. So you have the Knight of Wands right at the center. Um, a lot of movement, a lot of progress for some of you guys. It could be that uh, you've dealt with either jumping from one relationship to another or for others of you, it could have been lack of progress in regards to love and romance. Now, you have the Five of Swords. So there was a situation that caused a lot of turmoil, a lot of difficulties. Um, a lot of, I feel that they triggered a lot of your insecurities, Aquarius. And you have been contemplating or going through this healing process with the Temperance card. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a Sagittarian energy. For others, you could have been dealing with a Virgo, Taurus type of energy or Scorpio, uh, Pisces, Cancer type of energy. Um, but what they're saying here is that based on this experience, on the connection that you had uh, with this particular person, uh, with the Five of Wands, a lot of ego and a lot of pride was involved. And I feel that this could have been either on your part or their part. It is a general reading, Aquarius. But ultimately, there was a purpose or a reason behind this connection. And it was to bring a lot of healing energy to you or to that person as well. Now, the thing here is with the Knight of Wands, this usually indicates a person that has difficulty either settling down or committing. So for some of you guys, it could have been that you felt like you have met, you know, the person or the one. Um, but a lot like you've you allowed your insecurities to get the best of you. For others, it could have been the the opposite. It could have been that that person was the one that had commitment issues. And there was a feeling of like they're the one. And then all of a sudden, like it just went sour really quick. Um but with the world card here and the king of cups, I definitely do see you guys ending that cycle or being able to come to the other end of the tunnel, basically being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel and understanding that perhaps um, it was best to go your own separate ways. Now, you do have two fives here. So this is indicating to me that some of you Aquarians are still dealing with that inner struggle. For a lot of you guys, it could be the feeling of, um, like fear or frustration, like, do I deserve to even have a relationship? Um, am I going to be single all my life? Um, and I want to say that's, that's more of the energy of the Aquarians that are a little bit older, a little bit more mature, um, because they are telling me the ones that are a bit younger, there is almost a feeling of like, I don't even know what it is that I want. I'm confused. Um, sometimes, you know, when I'm single, when I'm alone, I have the desire to connect. I have the desire to, uh, build a relationship or something that is long lasting. That is what your heart's desire is telling you. But at the same time, uh, you know, you have this armor, there's this feeling of having to prove yourself worthy, or there's this feeling of, um, having others prove themselves worthy to you. So for some of you guys, it could be like having very high expectations or expecting too much from people. Um, and for others, like I said, the older ones, I feel that there is this feeling of will there ever be change in my love life? Uh, so what spirit is telling you is that there is this inner struggle right now that's going on where you can't really put your finger on it because for some of you guys, it's the desire and the want to create a long term relationship for others. It's the fear of having to change uh, to accommodate a long-term relationship because uh, there's still a, a feeling of independency or, or wanting independency and not losing yourself in a relationship. 
For some of you guys, it could be that you've been single for a very long time. And it's just very difficult for you guys to either allow people in or to like change your schedule, change things around because you kind of see it as like almost an inconvenience. Either way, what Spirit is telling you is that you're finally coming to the conclusion of a cycle where it's been a cycle that has been very ongoing. Now, I do want to mention, I do see a lot of you Aquarians um, starting to have a desire, starting to fantasize or start to really be interested in a specific person that is really getting your attention. It's like they they really are starting to like get your heart pumping. <laughs> Uh, and this could come very unexpected to a lot of you Aquarians out there. Um, so again, when I say unexpected, it usually indicates a person that is much more closer than you expect or that you would think. It could be a person that is in your social friends or people that know your friends. Um, that is very much that will be making their presence known to you very strongly because I do see them coming in and stepping in. So for some of you guys, this could be a new energy that is connected to a friend or someone that is in your inner circle. For others of you, it could be a friend that actually uh, starts to really get your attention or that you're really like really noticing, um, but don't really think much of it and then find out that they are interested and you're quickly, um, you're quickly going to be very like excited about this news or this information that comes through for you. Now, you do have the death card here. So for some of you guys dealing with Scorpio energy, um, with the six of cups, there is an ending cycle, like I said, to a pattern or a behavior that you've been doing for quite a while, Aquarius. Um, and this could have a lot to do with self-reflection. This could have a lot to do with toxic traits about yourself that you're coming to understand. Um, and like I said, even shaking you to the core of having to understand that there is something um, something, some type of behavior that you need to change in order to be able to bring towards you, uh, a, a more steady relationship or not just steady, but for you to be capable of allowing people emotionally to connect with you. Cause I see you guys like really fighting, uh, being able to open your heart up or give yourself the opportunity now, for others of you, it could be that you are, in fact, interested in a friend and there is a fear, a fear either of rejection or a fear of um, that they might not be interested. So you don't vocalize that. Uh, but then you come to an understanding or you come to it could even be them fessing up and telling you that they are interested in you and you don't really know how to proceed because there is fear of losing the friendship. But at the same time you're really being pulled towards this person. So with the death card, what they're telling you here is embrace the ending, embrace the ending, embrace endings. Um, even if it means having to let go of certain toxic traits about yourself, Aquarius, because ultimately this is going to be to the best of your interest. This is going to really help you understand more of that inner struggle that you've been dealing with for a very long time. And also, uh, when it comes, especially if you're, if I'm speaking directly to like male Aquarians, um, there is a need to really like end um, this behavior of feeling, uh, feeling like connecting or opening up to people makes you weak. Because um, it's, it's, it's almost like I'm, I'm getting this like macho type of energy. And what they're telling you is, if this is how you've continuously uh, been feeling or continuously like it's almost like a su superior, what is it called? Superiority uh, complex, like feeling that you have to prove to other people that you're like the best at what you do or the best at, you know, you're just the best. Basically, um, there is a need. This speaks directly about your insecurity. So you got to overcome that. And the only way to overcome it is to not be scared of vulnerability vulnerability, or not be scared to open up. It doesn't make you weaker. It actually makes you stronger. With the Eight of Swords, I definitely see that the reason why you've been very guarded is because you have been truly hurt in the past. Um, so again, ultimately, it's not that you don't want long-term relationship. It could just be that you're scared because perhaps in the past, you really 
gave yourself or gave a relationship 100% and you ended up feeling like ended up feeling hurt or extremely betrayed. Um, and that's something that you haven't been able to overcome. So it's time for you to start embracing, um, embracing the pain and the hurt that you went through because ultimately it gave you a lesson. It, it taught you. And from that lesson, don't be so like, don't think so highly of yourself. Be humble. Um, allow other people to see your true authentic self shine without the need of you sh screaming it. You know what I mean? Like um, allowing other people to really see. Yes, of course, you're great. Of course, you have a lot of, uh, you know, potential. You have a lot of beautiful attributes, but allow people to see that without having the need to scream them out, scream them out, basically. Um, and with the six of cups, you know, it's OK to be vulnerable. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to end up being hurt, because here's the thing. If you've been hurt in the past or your pride was hurt or your ego was crushed, then that could have a lot to do with the reasoning of feeling like, Oh, I'm never going to, you know, open myself up. I'm never going to allow myself to hurt again. But in doing that, you're also not giving yourself the opportunity to connect on a deeper level, the opportunity to allow people to get closer to you. I feel that a lot of you guys want, like are wanting a specific person. Um, for others of you, you're really wanting a relationship, but I think that you let the fear get the best of you. And what Spirit is telling you is that it's time to shake that off, Aquarius. All right, so for your final cards, the messages that Spirit wants to communicate with you. Spirit, please give me three cards that speak directly about your message to Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to their love and romance. All right. Your first card here is healer, family, and builder. You have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share with others. Family. Loving your friends and family is central to your life's purpose and builder. Your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, there is definitely a lot of healing that needs to happen here. We have the healer card which indicates for some of you guys, um, it could be that it becomes very easy for you guys to be healers. And it doesn't have to be necessarily a spiritual healer. It could just represent that, in fact, you are a doctor, you are a nurse, you do work in the medical field. For others of you, it could just represent that you're naturally a healer in the way you communicate. So it could be that people feel very comfortable communicating with you or opening up. And your guidance and your feedback really helps them heal through that process. But here's the thing with being able to allow other people to connect with you. I feel you don't allow yourself to emotionally connect. And the reason for that could be, again, we go back to that of the fear of being hurt again. So what spirit is telling you is that in healing others, you're also healing yourself. You need to bring down, um, bring down your walls Aquarius it's okay to connect with people that is part of our destiny as spiritual beings that's what we were meant to do to connect on an emotional level um, you're not really you're not really helping yourself you're actually hindering yourself by being so guarded and so protected because there is a feeling inside of you of you know, not being able to not being able to nurture or not being able to um, really feel that personal connection. And even though you've convinced yourself that, that you don't need it, um, there's always going to be a feeling of emptiness. So, again, this is something that in helping others or in healing others, you're also healing yourself. If you allow it to bring your guard down once in a while, not as often once in a while, we can start with that Aquarius. Now, your other card here, family. Family could be something that is very important to you, Aquarius. You're very connected. For others of you, it could be lack of connection from family, and that could be the reason why you're so distant or it's very difficult for you to connect. 
It could be from past traumatic events or from childhood conditioning. So this is something that you need to uh, either understand or try to internalize um, to, for it to help you um, not only overcome, you know, those blockages from past experiences, but as well brings healing to you, as you guys can see here in the background, um, the angel. So again, a lot of healing energy. And finally, builder, um, your innate ability to build and create brings a deep sense of accomplishment. For some of you guys, it could be that you're not even aware, you know, of having, um, for some of you guys, having this as a life purpose, building things. Uh, it could be building homes. It could be building, you know, little wooden you know, boats, whatever it is, you were gifted, you were born with specific gifts that have to do with either building or in the medical or healing. But again, I think that really like putting all your focus and your passion into uh, whatever you're being called uh, towards Aquarius for the coming, uh, the coming weeks or the coming month, I feel that it's very important for you to really nurture that or to really jump on, you know, take that leap of faith. I think that it's going to bring a lot of self growth as well as a lot of feeling of accomplishment and even finding your true purpose or calling. So definitely beautiful reading Aquarius. I hope you guys enjoyed like sharing comment and we'll see each other soon. Bye.